Two years ago, Oregon State was devastated by the loss of one of its own, Fred Thompson, who passed away while playing pickup basketball. Today's game would have been a homecoming for Thompson, who was from Oakland and went to Oakland Tech. As Stephen Nelson tells us, in Berkeley, Thompson's spirit can still be seen and heard through his best friend, his high school teammate, Oregon State safety, Ryan Murphy. In my heart, I know there will never be a day that I don't remember the times we shared. From here to forever, nothing could come between us. When Fred Thompson passed away two years ago, Ryan Murphy lost a teammate, a best friend, and a brother. Growing up and where he grew up, you know, he had to be, you know, tough-minded and thick-skinned, but I don't think you can ever be ready for, for your best friend uh, to, go, to go down like that. But rather than let grief consume him, Murphy made sure that Thompson's memory fueled him and that his spirit lived on through him. I know the impact Fred had on people. It was a positive impact. He uplifted people. So if I had went the other way, then a lot of other people, family and friends, would have went down the uh, same path. I, I, I just tried to take it the positive way and show people that, you know, this, this is not the worst. This is a great place for Fred to be. He's in a better place. He knows that he's playing his game, not for for him, but, but for his bro, you know what I mean? He, he every day he's coming out, you know, he, he, he's making plays for him, for Fred. He wasn't the guy that, you know, let that, you know, hit him and, you know, change his life in, in a sense, in a bad way. He, he made that as a motivation. He's been working harder and, you know, I feel like he playing with Fred on the shoulders. In the two years since Thompson's death, Murphy has developed into a playmaker and a leader for Oregon State, a constant inspiration to his teammates for the strength he showed during tragedy. And he's respected so much on his team and the way he puts out him on the field and off the field with the players. And I feel like God put him in that position for a reason because he can handle it. And I don't think anyone can, can handle it as much as he did. It's been fun to see him just grow into a great player, great leader. Uh, he really has a uh, heart for just carrying on the legacy that him and Fred brought here. To see like him lose a friend like that, it just broke my heart. And to see how he reacted, it's just... It made everybody around him just know that he's that kind of person. He's tough-minded. He can get through anything. So people look to him as a leader like that. Kaler's pass is intercepted. It's Ryan Murphy with the pick off the deflection. Murphy also wants to be a leader in the community of his hometown of Oakland, helping kids avoid some of the dangers of life in the inner city. It's a lot of things going on, a lot of, lot of negative things going on. So, you know, uh, me being an athlete, another outlet for people to look at, another person for people to look up to when, when things get tough. I just try to, you know, stay humble and make sure I don't let these people down. Murphy went to Oakland Tech High School, which is about 10 minutes from Berkeley. Murphy said he's never played a football game here at Memorial Stadium. He'll finally get his chance on Saturday in front of dozens of family and friends, including Fred Thompson's mother, who will be here. And the Beavers say, just as he is wherever they go, Fred or Brick Squad will be here too. Reporting from Berkeley, I'm Steven Nelson for College Football Game Day. One, two, three, three, three.